Hi, this is Vicky with Brick After Brick Toys. Well, we're gonna do something crazy today. We're gonna take this Lego Junior set, Incredibles Great Home Escape, and we're gonna combine it with another set because that set's too tiny. So we're gonna take this awesome modular modern home with a creator, and we're gonna create this beautiful new Incredibles home. So stay tuned, I'm gonna show you what some really fun features this house now has before it was just a shell. But we gotta start first with Lego Rain! Because that's where all the fun starts, with Lego Rain! Okay, this is what we started with. Very, very simple. It's a Lego Junior set, so you can't expect much. It is pretty stable though, that's one thing I'll give it. But we decided we were gonna have to take some of the awesome features from this modular. And this Modern House Creative Modular, um, you can find this creator set for between $25 and $30 now. So for really not that much, you can have a really awesome Incredibles house instead of just a basic little junior set. But as you can see, this modular home is really beautiful and it's very modern. And the reason I chose it to go with the Incredibles house is because from the movie, the Incredibles house is very modern looking, that the one that they're living in in the movie. And it has twin beds there, and it's got some other furniture that's gonna come in really handy when we put the whole thing together. But check it out. Here is the, a roof piece. This is like a solar panel. And of course, that's gonna be really cool to have on the Incredibles house because it's very modern technology. But look at this, because of the modular build, you can move everything around. So um, on our channel, we will be doing a modular build as well, but look at this beautiful new Incredibles home. This, to me, is an incredible home. Okay, so as you're watching today, I want you to comment down below with some more improvements that you think would be interesting for this house. But there is an escape hatch. It's not only a solar panel, it's an escape hatch. And there's two side doors because you gotta have some good places to get out of there sometimes. You just never know when things are gonna happen. Isn't this beautiful, the sleek lines? Awesome. So I want you to see the big space we chose for the conference table because of course the family has to get together and talk about things and you never know when another superhero is gonna show up. But there's the kitchen to the left, the conference table looks so shiny and beautiful, and a bird's eye view is gonna show you the parents' bedroom, the kids' bedroom. This is over here, you can see Violet's shield. She's got that stored away just in case she needs it. Awesome living room downstairs with the orange couch and the secret panel, that's so cool, awesome. The kids' bedroom, that really awesome light that was downstairs, we brought it upstairs. So there's lots of changes and we switched around the waterfall so it's going backwards. All right, let's see if we can take a look down at the kitchen because there is an actual kitchen with a stove and there's the stove, a nice shiny shelf and I'll lift it up so that you can see inside there's a refrigerator in there and there's also a blue sink over in the back and I finished off the floors so the floors look nice and shiny. So I think this is like an awesome kitchen, which is really fun. And then of course, upstairs, there's a deck right by the parents' bedroom. And that deck is also where you have access to the slide, the water slide and the water fountain, the waterfall. Let's have Violet uh, take a chance here. Okay, Violet, that's where you're gonna go down. Perfect, down she goes, awesome. Well, that is a good spot for a pool, but somebody told me when they saw this, they said, this is awesome, but why didn't you make the pool bigger and so they could slide right into the pool from the waterfall? I didn't even think of that. Maybe I'll have to do an update to this and add some of your ideas, so be sure to comment below some of your ideas that would be fun to add to this as well. Okay, I want you to notice how pretty this um, parents' bedroom is. I think it's beautiful. I love the quilt on the parents' bed. And there, that was Jack-Jack's lava bubble because he has to have a place to sleep, right? 
But look at that bed and all the colors are all coordinated with the Incredibles colors. And of course, downstairs is the phone, the, um, the hotline so that the Incredibles can be called or reach their friends. And of course, the orange couch and I put some yellow cushions on there because I thought that would make it really shine. And the beds from the modular were already red and yellow. How perfect is that? And the couch from the modular living room made a perfect couch to have in the parents' bedroom. And look how pretty the floors are because that was actually part of the roof from the other house, but they look like awesome wood floors. So this really, to me, this is a, um, a beautiful combination. All right, over to the side here. I did find the top of the birdhouse finally. <laughs> so there's a birdhouse there uh, right outside the parents' bedroom as well. And I want you to notice the landscaping looks nice. I thought the um, landscaping from the modular was awesome to add in. Really made it fun. And there's that secret panel in the living room. Awesome. Check out the front door area. So cool. And here is, of course, the Incredibles family. We've got the dad, Mr. Incredible, and Dash, and of course, Jack-Jack the baby, and there's Elastigirl the mom, and Violet, last but not least, Violet. So leave us a comment and tell us who your favorite character on The Incredibles is and any improvements that you can think of that we can add to this to make it a more interesting Incredibles home. Thanks for watching and have fun building your LEGO world.